Tacoma, the city of destiny, the place where the world of the railroad and the ports meet, land of the Tacoma Dome, and Gatsby Glass Road, the Tacoma No. Cut! There's a cookie in the shop. Why is there a cookie in my shop? A cookie in your shop? What about the boom mic that's in your shop? Why do we have this? We don't have a microphone. We don't have a microphone. You don't need to be here. Go home. In participating in the 72-hour film contest, we decided to do, do a biofilm on the life of Gadsby Glassroot because his story is absolutely pivotal to the heart of what Tacoma is. If you want to know about where the cookie came from, check out Bubbles on her hair! I don't know why they call me Bubbles. Why did you give the cookie to Steve in the middle of the bloody shot? Everybody's always yelling, I don't get it. Everybody likes cookies. Clearly, she and Will have a relationship. Oh, uh, I just kind of block him out most of the time. She hurts my soul. Most of the time, I don't even know what he's saying. It's just like noise. Hey, after you eat your cookies, don't throw any other fortunes away because I'm making this sweet collage with fortunes I've been collecting for like six years. Yeah, truckload of fortune cookies. I, that's, look, we got the budget. We're going to be okay with that. Look, if Steve wants it, that's all there is to, oh, hold on, hold on, what? Um, Steve? Steve's a good guy. I like him. I think he's a great director. I think, I think, um, we have a great future together. Um, I hope he hires me again. Steve's not the director? Steve is absolutely brilliant. I've worked with him a number of times before, and he's absolutely the best gnome actor that Hollywood can provide. What? Director's a freaking idiot anyway. Will is a genius. His mind is constantly working, and he's always looking for that that edgy, that edgy look for things. Very good. You look very powerful. Very powerful. Can you look more powerful? Oh, uh, what did I think of Will? Um, he seems uh, he has some great ideas, and um, maybe a little unrealistic at times. I like it. I do like it. But can you make it a frog? Well, whatever. You know, he's a dreamer, and uh, we gotta have dreamers. Do you want to keep your job? It has to be a frog. Oh, oh, you're threatening me now. Just, just dream of leaping off that cliff and flying, even though it might mean plummeting to your death. Well, the wolf's not working for me. The wolf is not working for me, and frog imagery is actually very pivotal. Well, yes, you see, frog imagery is absolutely pivotal to my style as a director. Without the frog, I am nothing. Things can change at the drop of a hat. But you have to have your crew go along with that, and that was my job, to make sure that the crew was on board and ready to do whatever it is he needed us to do. Bubbles, would you please make sure that his hat is redder? It was much redder in this scene coming up. I need you back on set, and this time, bring a mic, Gladys. Bob. Do you understand what a mic is, Gladys? Bob. I want you down at the set now, Gladys. Bob. I need to talk with you. Sure. Listen, uh, all the artwork is already done, and all the footage is shot, uh -huh. and now Will wants me to change his one, the one of the wolf, he wants to change into a frog. Oh. And now I have to contact apparently all the artists again, and I don't want to have a to deal frog. with A frog? A frog? Yeah, isn't that ridiculous? That is genius! Oh my god, Will is such a genius! Oh god, yes! Have you tried turning the wolf into a frog? All right, everyone. This is a pivotal scene. It encompasses everything that this film is about. It's a product placement for Num Num Cookies. Ready? Action. Cut! There's a cookie on the cookies! Why is there a cookie on the cookies and bubbles? What the there was a shovel with a boom mic on his hat! This does not need to be Bubbles, here. do we still not, don't have a do not eat here. fortune cookies no, no. on the set. Bubbles, what are you doing? Stop blowing bubbles. Stop if you can't control yeah. her, I'm going like to have to fire you. Fire me, fire her, yep. your girlfriend. My girlfriend, I'm gay. She, I thought she was your girlfriend. Oh no, she's your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Well, then whose girlfriend is she? Steve!
timing's been rough. Ever since this whole hormone shot. Look, I'm not gonna get into the whole ethnic dance thing. Most amazing piece of CGI work I've ever done. You would have had to at least finish high school for that. Oscar, here I come! Go!